Hello, little learners. I'm Mr. Lion, and today we're going on a fantastic adventure to explore the magical world of shapes. Are you ready? Great. Let's dive right in. Our first shape is the square. Look closely, it has four sides of equal length and four right angles. We have two examples here which has square shape. First one is book, the blue color book shown on the board, and the second one is a gift box. I am sure you have seen a book before and a gift box which is square in shape. Can you take a look around the room and find something that's shaped like a square? Maybe it's a book, a picture frame, or even a window. Shout it out when you find one that that's fantastic. I bet you're finding squares everywhere. They're like little friends hiding in plain sight. Now, let's get creative. Grab some paper and your favorite colors. We're going to draw a square together. Draw one side, two sides, three sides, and four sides, and voila. You've got yourself a square. Great job, everyone. You're all amazing square makers. Remember, a square is like a super sturdy building block. It's strong, stable, and oh so cool. Now, let's move on to the rectangle. It's similar to the square, but the sides are not all the same length. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, and it also has four right angles. We have shown two examples here which is rectangle shaped. First one is board and the second one is a tea table. Which you look from the top, you will see a rectangle shape. I am sure you have seen both of them before and now you know they both are rectangle shaped. We will do the same exercise this time as well. Let's take another blank paper and pencil. Now you can draw a rectangle two ways. First is standing rectangle in which the vertical lines will be longer than horizontal lines. The second way is to draw horizontal lines longer than vertical lines as we have shown here. Now, can you think of something that has a rectangular shape around you? Anyone? Fantastic! Rectangles are like stretched out squares. You might find them in doors, windows, or even your favorite tablet. Next up is the triangle. Triangles have three sides and three corners. Can you make a triangle shape with your fingers? Great! We have shown two examples here which has triangle shape. First one is everyone's favorite, pizza, and the second one is watermelon flavor ice cream candy. Let's do the same exercise this time as well. Let's take blank paper and pencil. Now can you draw triangle? If you have noticed here, the triangle doesn't need to have all of its three lines same size. So, you can draw different size lines and make different types of triangles. Now, let's look around for things shaped like triangles. Wonderful! Triangles are strong and stable. You can find them in buildings, bridges, and even in pizza slices as we mentioned earlier. Next up is the circle. So, what is a circle? A circle is a perfectly round shape. It's like a tire, a pancake, or the face of a clock. No corners, no edges, just one continuous, smooth line. They're in toys, in nature, and even on your favorite snacks like cookies and pizzas. We have shown two different circle-shaped objects here. First is the planet Earth. As we all know there are we all live on planet Earth. The second example is round wall clock. Can you check and see if you have similar shaped wall clock in your house? Now you know what we will do next? Yes, let's do the same exercise this time as well. Let's take blank paper and pencil. Now can you draw a circle? If you have noticed here, the circles are different sizes. So, let's make at least five different sizes of circles and show them to your mom. She will be proud. What do you think this shape is called? That's right, it's a star. Stars have points and can sparkle just like you. Can you count the points on a star? One, two, three, four, five. Great job! Stars are like twinkling gems in the night sky, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Stars are unique and special, just like each one of you. You can find them in the night sky, on flags, and even in your drawings. So, what is a star? 
A star is a shape that has points, just like the ones you see in the night sky. They can be big, small, and even have different numbers of points. Can you think of some things that are shaped like stars? Yes, you are right. We have shown the example of starfish. Again, let's do the same exercise. Let's take blank paper and pencil. Now can you draw a star? Well, stars are hard to draw, but you can definitely try and draw multiple of them with different sizes. The next shape is mysteries of a super cool shape, the cylinder. Cylinders are like magical tubes that come in handy for lots of exciting things. So, what exactly is a cylinder? A cylinder is a shape that has two circular ends and a straight side connecting them. It's like a can of soda or a roll of delicious cookies. Can you think of some things that are shaped like cylinders? Fantastic job, little adventurers. You're getting the hang of it. Cylinders are all around us, and they can be lots of fun. We have shown a couple of examples of cylinder. First one is the oxygen bottle, which is frequently used in hospitals, and the second is fire extinguisher, which you will see in a lot of places like malls, stores, offices. Let's do the same drawing exercise. Let's take blank paper and pencil. Try to draw a couple of different sizes of cylinders. Once you are done, show it to your parents. Well done, little safari experts. Today, we learned that cylinders are tube-shaped wonders with two... Can you guess what shape this is? That's right, it's a cube. Cubes are like little building blocks that help create amazing things all around us. So, what exactly is a cube? A cube is a shape that has six equal square faces, and all its edges and corners are perfectly straight and right angles. It's like a box or a building block. Can you think of some things that are shaped like cubes? As you can see, we have shown two different examples. First one is, which I guess all of you know, dice. If you have played board games like Snake and Ladder or Monopoly, you know what dice is. Second example is Cube Game, which is very popular among young kids. So, now try to draw some cubes. Let us know in the comments how did it go. Cubes are amazing because they are so sturdy and can stack up into big towers. Can you guess what shape this is? That's right, it's a diamond. Diamonds are like little treasures that shine bright and catch our eye. So, what exactly is a diamond shape? A diamond has four sides with equal length and the opposite angles are also equal. It looks like a beautiful gemstone or a kite flying high in the sky. Can you think of some things that are shaped like diamonds? There are multiple examples which are diamond shaped. If you have ever flown a kite, you know the shape of the kite? Yes, it's diamond. Flying kites are really fun. If you see some road signs including school sign, they are also diamond shaped. Try to draw a few diamond shapes and let us know in the comment. Di All right, little friends, our incredible journey of learning some cool shapes is almost over. Can you guess what shape this is? That's right, it's a pentagon. Pentagons are like magical party invitations, and we're about to discover why they're so fantastic. So, what exactly is a pentagon? A pentagon is a shape with five sides and five angles. It looks like a home plate in baseball or a star in the sky. Can you think of some things that are shaped like pentagons? Let us know in the comment section on what things you find with pentagon shape. I think it is cool to draw the pentagon shape. So, let's grab a blank paper and pencil and try to draw the pentagon. Color it with blue, black, or red. Our next shape is hexagon. Hexagons are like nature's perfect puzzle pieces, and they have some fantastic secrets to share. So, what exactly is a hexagon? A hexagon is a shape with six sides and six angles. It looks like a stop sign or a beehive cell. Can you think of some things that are shaped like hexagons? Fantastic job, little architects. You're hexagon spotting experts. Hexagons are indeed incredible shapes found in nature and design. Hexagons are marvelous because they fit together perfectly just like all right my little friends we have come to an end of this incredible learning experience we have learned 10 shapes we will see you in next learning video
Please like, share, and